printed writing, the lens, the wheel, the first known laws to govern society, and the concept of 60 minutes in an hour, just to mention a few. You know, my grandmother has played a really important role in my life. And I remember when I was really young, she'd tell me stories about her life. I remember in particular, we'd sit on this favorite chair of hers, and she'd tell me about her life stories, about her childhood, about her life struggles. My grandmother was widowed. She raised six children by herself and was eventually forced to become a refugee. But the most important thing that my grandmother has ingrained in me is that I should be proud of my heritage, which is why I'm here to tell you that I am an Assyrian. Please note the emphasis on the A. <laughs> usually when I tell someone I'm an Assyrian, they have no idea what I'm talking about. And a typical conversation usually runs something like this. Oh, so you're Syrian. No, not Syrian, Assyrian. Note the emphasis on the A, please. Assyrian's history is so rich, it actually dates back to over 6,000 years ago, back to the days of hanging, God, hanging gardens of Babylon. We are the original indigenous people of Iraq, somewhat similar to the Aborigines of Australia or the Native Americans to America. But unfortunately, Due to many complicated reasons, we don't have a country of our own, although many Assyrians still live there today. Our language is Aramaic, one of the most ancient languages known to mankind, and we still speak it today. It's a language that Jesus Christ spoke. And actually, we were one of the first nations to adopt Christianity. We built some of the first and earliest churches that have been known to mankind, and some of them still stand today in Iraq. But what you won't hear in the history books or in the media is that there has been a systematic ethnic cleansing of Assyrians in Iraq. And it's been going on for hundreds of years and it's going on right now as I speak to you today. 75% of our population has been killed. And actually, in 2003 in Iraq, there was approximately one and a half million Assyrian Christians there. Today, that number is only a merely 500,000. The most recent attacks that have occurred to the Assyrian Christians in Iraq occurred in October 2010, although the attacks are ongoing. 68 people lost their lives that day, innocent churchgoers. Assyrian Christians, a simple decision as sending your children to school is a life or death decision. They are given two options, leave or die. And many of them have left, yes, left and become refugees in other countries, leaving everything behind, every possession, even loved ones. But for those who remain, all they want is the basic human rights to be able to live in their ancestral homeland and to maintain their 6,000-year-old culture all they want to do is to live in peace. Assyrian Christians in Iraq are living in crisis. Some of them are living in extreme poverty, not knowing where the next meal is coming from. Five or six families living in one room. Assyrian Christians in Iraq are crying out for our help, yet they are met with silence. I am here today to break that silence. And I hope that you will too. Some of the greatest crimes against humanity have been committed against the Assyrians in Iraq. My grandmother had to fight so hard to stay alive. When her husband was killed, she had to raise six children by herself. And if it wasn't for my grandmother, I wouldn't even, even been born. I ask you, please help the Assyrian Christians in Iraq before it's too late. And I urge you to please support the Iraqi Christian Relief Council. Thank you so much.